You better come out, you bitch. Yeah. I was gonna toss a bigger rock at your ship if you didn't come out of it. You may have been squashed like a bug. That would have been bad if you did. More importantly, what are you still doing here? I thought you'd be gone by now. What? No, I haven't left yet. Were you expecting me to? I only stayed to check on you. You had me worried, Granola. <laughs> Don't rub against me. <sighs> Maybe you shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Huh? What's with the change in attitude? Something wrong? Matter of fact, there is... That night you and I had. It was a big mistake. And I can't do this anymore. <sighs> I hope you understand. Uh, it was just a little makeout session. It's not like we had sex or anything, you dumb dumb. A, a little? It was more than that. And stop doing that with your fingers. Still, I should have trusted my gut and pushed you away. But I didn't. I don't know why. That's because you were enjoying it as much as I was. Damn it, I'm serious. What's even worse, we slept in the ruins of my hometown. Why? Hey, don't start playing the blame me game. You weren't there, I followed. You were depressed. I followed you again. I comforted you. We kissed. We almost fucked. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know how to irritate me. You're always there when I don't need you to be. I can't let you distract me any further. It's frustrating. I recall you lost count. You told me yourself. That I did. <sighs> You're so damn confusing. Look, I'll be honest with you. That night was new and something strange for me to experience. Difficult to understand it. No words to describe it. The feeling only lasts for a brief moment. We both know I can't be the one you're looking for. I figured you'd say something like that. After all, you've already chosen what you wanted. Impossible to change your thick mind, huh? Uh. Hmm. Revenge is like boiling water. You can't leave it unattended. By the way, you're a messy kisser. <clears throat> Take care. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, that was intense. Ah, shit! How much did you hear, old meal? A lot, actually. Every word. Well, she seems like a nice girl. Nice. You're kidding, right? Nope. Are you sure? You're just going to let her go? Yeah. She doesn't need me. Speaking of boiling water, I'm down for some spicy noodles. Earthly noodles. Finally, after all these years I've waited for so long, I can avenge my people and rid those barbarians big time. <laughs> now 
Once they're defeated and Freeze is gone, my people can rest easily. And so can I. Then maybe... Hey. <sighs> maybe spend those three remaining years in peace. Until I die, I guess. <laughs> Count the seashells as fast as you can. Remember the warmth of the golden sand, where once a sailor named Joe who sailed to the dry land, night by shade, filled the ocean with your hand. Hmm. He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. No need to worry. He's a grown boy. <laughs> this energy... Uh... I see now. Your memories. May I see? Sure. Mm. Uh, sis, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little headache. Oh! I hope it goes away. It will. You'll see. Mm. Maybe I... Maybe I made the wrong choice to leave him alone. Maybe... Staring into the ocean will help ease my mind. Uh. I see Aunt Tear has invaded my spot. He looks just like you though, don't you think?